Welcome to Mermaronick Memorial Field. It's girls lacrosse today, the first round of the playoffs. Mermaronick Tigers coming to the game at 9-6-1 will face off against the Clarktown South Vikings at 3-13. Mermaronick will be led by Olivia Jensen, the freshman on offense, and we'll see how they fare against the Vikings. Um, face off is coming up next. This is the first round of the Section 1 Class A playoffs for girls lacrosse. Mermaronick coming to this game is the sixth seed. Uh, Clarkstown South is the 11th seed. Olivia Jensen will take the draw from Mermaronick. We're underway. Mermaronick will Get the ball first. There are two 25 minute halves. It's the format of this game. And a save on the first opening seconds of this game. The goalie, Samantha Carpentier, with the save. Shot, to, shot was taken by Brianna Steigerwald, the junior from Romanic. She's going to hold on to the ball for a while. The clock keeps ticking as she does this. There is uh, no contact in girls lacrosse. Could go to half tied at this rate. <laughs> Kind of like, um, you know, hand touch football in the backyard. Just the quarterback waiting there. Finally, Clarkstown will get the ball out, and it's taken up by Aaron Kelly. Nice pass in there, and a shot at goal, and it's put in. That was Danielle Miklo Mick. Lavore, weird spelling. Mick Lavore with the score, and it's one to nothing, Clarkstown South to start this game. Mermaronick comes into this uh, contest definitely favored over Clarkstown, but an opening goal will put the momentum in Clarkstown's favor to start off this game. actually uh, shot by McIver. I can't read Daniela McIver. Eyes look like L's when they're capitalized. <laughs> Julia Simmons taking it all the way <laughs> down the field. Another deflected save by Carpentier. Two minutes into this game. Already a couple shots at goal. The weather right now is not too good. 50s uh, is the temperature, is temperature and it is very foggy and there is a slight chance of rain as we go on in the day. A four or a six o'clock Game time start. Shot taken and uh, saved by Mormarinik, but it will stay with the Vikings. Talia Lynn, the sophomore goalie, is in and made a nice save there. It's an opportunity though. Shot taken and another save by Land. Jamie Morris took the shot for Clarkstown.
Morris. Ball inside. Another whistle. And a shot is taken and scored. It was a uh, shot by another scorer by Danielle McIver, and it is two to nothing, Clarkstown South. So not exactly the score line we expected to start off this game. We thought Mermarinick would definitely, uh, or you know, we really thought they would be able to handle this pretty easily. Clarkstown South, three and 13, and two of those wins coming against Clarkstown North, which is the worst team in Section 1A that made the playoffs. Granted, we are only four minutes into this game. Nonetheless, a good start for Clarkstown South. Simmons will go down the field again, for them to be pulled out. Get to Greta Massey. Massey back at back out to Cotter. To Jensen. Jensen shoots and just misses. It will remain Mermarinick possession, however. Gets into Massey and Massey shoots. And another save by Carpentier. That's her third of the day, doing a fine job at goalie. Start, uh, the ref is saying something right now. Stopping play. Time, meanwhile, is ticking. Well, they're going to give the possession to Mermarinick. Catherine Grinnell will take the ball. Maybe some sort of foul must have been called. Rules of uh, girls lacrosse is a mystery to a lot of people. Without a microphone, it's kind of hard to hear what the umpire is saying, but uh, we'll start up play again. Massey will charge at the goal, get swarmed and pulled out. Got it to Simmons. Jensen now gonna try to make a move. She shoots and misses. Uh, Carpentier will just hold on to the ball. Last time we were in this situation, she did it for 40 seconds. Already 10 seconds in this time, finally throws and it's complete to Sophie Arts. Or no, excuse me, sorry, uh, Jamie Morris. McIver with the ball, we'll pass it out to Jamie Morris. Two nothing early in this cross game. A nice save by Talia Land. Go, 
Gets it into Simmons. Simmons is faster than everyone on the field and will get in front for an open shot at goal, but a beautiful knockout. What a great play by Clarkstown South. That was uh, Kayla Tracy with the play. And now McIver going downfield and on good save by Talia Land. So, so far, both goalies playing pretty well. Several saves, a nice pass into Massey. Getting the Marinic offense in motion. Pass to Simmons. And a flag is taken out by the referee. A pushing foul, so I, I guess it's gonna be Marinic. Possession and a shot at goal. Simmons with the ball right now, and that looks pretty wide open. And she'll pass it. Oh, and it goes. It was mishandled by Gracie Fitzgerald, who had an open shot at goal. A missed opportunity there for Mermarinick. A uh, poor pass, but kept by Clarkstown. Massey will steal it for Mermarinick. Get it to uh, Fitzgerald. And Fitzgerald will run in and shoot and put Mermarinick on the board. A good score by Gracie Fitzgerald. And the score is now two to one. 14.52 left to go in the first half. Popped up in the air and it will be picked up by Simmons. So Mermarinick now has a chance to tie it. Right now, uh, Greta Massey has the ball. A whistle. Physical contest so far. Several fouls called. Massey will make a nice big move and shoot and score. So now it is two apiece. Or Cantwell, rather, with the score, not Massey. Excuse me. Yes, Cant Cantwell with the score. So it's two all with 14 minutes and 17 seconds left to go in the half. Maranek will win another draw. Cantwell with the ball. Cantwell loses it. A whistle. It will uh, stay in Maranek possession. Katie Cotter. Oh 
Massey shoots and it is now a Mermeronic lead, three to two. Corkstown South got up to an early two to nothing lead. Some concern for the Mermeronic faithful here, but three scores in the last few minutes will give them the lead and confidence in this game. There's a draw. Well, it's up there and Romanic will get it again. Olivia Jensen has been consistently winning the draws, which has definitely contributed to this Romanic lead and surge. Jensen now will shoot and score. So now it's four to two. A timeout will be called by Clark's down south. So four to two with 13.03 left to go in the half. We'll be right back. Jensen will take the draw against Aaron Kelly. Go Tigers! Maranek will win another, um, another draw. It's been a while since Clarkstown South has actually had a possession because Mermarina keeps scoring and then winning the draws. Only a few minutes ago, actually, the score in this game was two to nothing, Clarkstown South. Mermarina in those few minutes, however, has shown why they're the sixth seed in Clarkstown's 11th seed. <laughs> And it continues. Five to two now. A score by uh, Katie Cotter. And it is five to two, Mermarnik. We were expecting a blowout. The surge in the beginning by Clarkstown South made us think otherwise, but now Mermarnik really taking control in this game. And that one's even, but Mermanic will win it again. Samantha Carpentier, the goalie for Clarkstown South, had a few saves to start this game, but hasn't gotten one lately. Potter just scored with the ball. Game a lot slower when uh, Mermarina keeps scoring. Only a few minutes have gone by and more minutes. And well, Katie Cotter scores another goal. It is six to two. That timeout that the Vikings called didn't really work. And um, Mermarinick in total control right now. Thirteen losses this year for Clarkstown South. Romanic wins. Well, yep, they won it again. <laughs> Olivia Jensen actually getting the draw. Massey with the ball. A senior on the team. It is actually, um, no matter what the last game Romanic will play, or the girls team will play this year on the turf field, Meaning that's the last game here at Mermarinick for the seniors, win or lose. And Jensen will go up 
unattested and score seven to two now. 10.54 left to go in the half. But yes, the last game for these seniors. That includes Gabby and Salmo, senior goalie, Olivia Penniston, Catherine Grinnell, Sydney Siegel, Greta Massey, and Maggie McNelly. Of those seniors, only a few of them are starters, meaning next year should be even better for Marinick. Olivia Jensen, only a, fresh, only a freshman, and you've seen her winning a majority of the draws today, certainly will be a positive impact for Marinick in the future. Finally, Clarkstown South, however, will win a draw. They haven't held a possession of the ball since it was 2-0 uh, then, seems like. It's 7-2 now. And uh, poor pass, and uh, Talia Land will save it. Oh, goes through. Will actually be uh, Viking possession. Try to knock the ball out and um, make contact. It's a foul on uh, Heather Gardner from Romanic. And shot a goal taken and scored by Jamie Morris. So that will defeat the 7 0 run Romanic has had. Lacrosse is a game of runs, of course, but uh, right now that only cut the lead back to four for Mermaronik. All the players, except for the goalies, are in shorts. Personally, I can tell you that it is definitely not shorts weather. Pretty chilly up here. A steady wind actually um, going from right to left, which would uh, actually help out um, Clarkstown South. Jamie Morris makes contact with uh, Molly not if of Mamaronik. Mamaronik will actually gain possession out of that though. Offensive foul. Jensen will take it up. Get to Grinnell, yes. who shoots and scores. So eight to three, 818 left to go in the half. Marinick scores again. Redraw. Something is going wrong. Uh, well, it was a foul on uh, Clarkstown, so Maranek will just get it. 
<laughs> Marinick with the 8 to 3 lead. We'll see if they decide to slow it down now. It's hard to slow it down once you win the draw because you have so much forward momentum. But not now. Jensen will drive in, shoot, and miss, but uh, Cantwell was closest to it, so remain Tiger possession. A uh, near turnover, or, yep, it's going to be a turnover by Mermanek. It will be. Uh, Viking possession. Under seven minutes now. A uh, foul by Massey, I guess, yeah. And they throw it in. Um, Looked like a missed pass and Land ended up catching the ball. Simmons will pass it out to Staggerwald, and it's a shot taken and scored by um, Olivia Jensen, and it's 9-3 to three now, Mermarinik. Coach Christina Smith must be happy with the play of her Tigers. The winner of this contest will play number three, White Plains. Certainly right now, it looks like the winner is going to be Mermarinik. Cool Wednesday afternoon. Mermarinik will win it. Or, well, Yep, they'll win it. Hopped around there a bit, but they got it. Steigerwall will pass in. Shot taken. That was by uh, Gracie Fitzgerald, but a good save by uh, Carpentier, but she throws it right away, and it's intercepted by Mermarinik. It will be her possession, however. Carpentier likes to take her time to pass. She has as much of it as she wants. Down six goals. Perhaps it would be a good idea to try to act quickly. It's really up to her discretion. Interesting why Mermarinik um, is really, you know, trying to defend. Doesn't seem too likely that they'll be able to stop it either way. It is wasting time, however. Well, this has gone on for over a minute. 4.42 left to go in the half. There is no reason why, or that I could see, um, why we couldn't just be doing this until we go to halftime. I don't know if anything I'm saying is really helping to speed it up at all. Meanwhile, uh, Carpentier has actually moved up significant yards from the goal. We'll finally throw it, and after all that time, man, it got the ball. <laughs> So really hard to make uh, much out of that, except <laughs> how ironic it really was. Um, 
Jensen took a shot, it went off the post. Cantwell will drive in. Shoot, and uh, the whistle looked like it was before it went in. So Cantwell will have the ball. I'm sure she would rather have the goal. And she gets the goal this time. So it's 10 to three now, Mermarinik. 3.22 left to go in the half. Not a contest. Jensen actually probably hit it a little too far. So uh, Clarkstown North will have the ball. Intercepted by Mermarinik. That was a good play by Katie Cotter. Cotter only a sophomore. Cotter will throw it in to Jensen and They'll score. That's a duo you could be seeing for two more years. Jensen, a freshman, Cotter, a sophomore. Good goal, and Mermaranek leads 11 to 3. Two fifty left to go in the half. Marinick uh, will win again. Olivia Jensen getting her own draw. Foul. Jensen will throw it into Cotter. She shoots and scores. And it is 12 to three now with exactly two minutes left to go in the half. Mermarinik really running it on. Mermarinik has scored 12 of the last 13 goals. You just tuning in, uh, Clarkstown's out actually. Started this game up 2 nothing. Looked pretty competitive back then. Not so much now. That's the first time I've seen it go the left side of the 50. It'll be won by um, the Vikings. Danielle McIver, pass to Aaron Kelly. One thirty left to go. Kelly will get knocked down. And, uh, well, they'll give it to Mermarinik. Um, not liking the call was Clarkstown. Uh, 
back to Clarkstown. Under a minute now in the half. Tracy, knocked down, nothing called. Maranek will have possession. Taking it up is Steigerwald. Who finds a seam, shoots and scores. 13-3, Maranek. 32, well, they're gonna like keep ticking now. Maybe we'll just take it to the half. I don't know if the clock was not operated correctly. There is um, a rule, a 10 goal lead running time, which will probably mean the half. So under five now. And uh, they're not going to uh, draw it. So, Mermanic dominates the first half of this game, 13 to three. Step inside and be right back for the second half. Back here for the second half. Cotter will um, take the face off, or the draw this time. Mermanic nursing a 10 nothing lead. I mean, 10 point lead. 13 to three is the score. Uh, we are in a um, situation where the time always should be uh, ticking, so if that's true, this game should end in exactly 24 minutes and 40 seconds. Whether or not Clarkstown South could succumb a 10 point lead in that time, we could assume it would be doubtful. Stripped away by Bermarinick, and uh, they'll get the ball back. Uh, Heather Gardner taking it downfield, pass it back. That's to uh, the senior, Sydney Siegel. Uh, get that into, I think that's that is Olivia Pennison, another senior, trying to get these seniors in. Not normally a starter is Pennison. Um, Sophie Arts now. Pass it back to Cotter. So it's on running time as long as the lead is 10. Granted that the starters are now not in, or all of them at least, if, uh, Clarkstown South is able to score, it may not be the case anymore. The weather right, or the temperature right now is um, 55 degrees, feels like 54. That degree definitely matters, it's very cold. Lights have been turned on, even though uh, it's not dark yet. It's getting darker, though. The pass goes through, and it will be Corkstown possession. And so they get it into Carpentier, and it could be minutes until somebody else has the ball if she doesn't throw it. She normally waits a while. Last time she waited two minutes and then threw it away. This time she throws a little quicker and uh, Marana gets it again. Perhaps the reason why she takes so long is because she seems to struggle with leading her passes. Uh, Clarkstown South, however, will get the ball. Score is 13-3. Clarkstown is um, 
three and 13 on the season, the 11 seed in the section one class A playoffs against Mermaronick number six, nine, six, and one. This is the first round of section one A playoffs. The winner of this game will face off against number three, White Plains. Aaron Kelly holding on to the ball. Finally decides to run in and uh, a whistle. We're now inside of 20 minutes left to go in this game. He goes in, shoots and scores. And that will stop the clock and uh, make this a nine point game. Nineteen forty six left to go. One by uh, nobody yet. Stay with it. Stay with it. That's All those it, sticks. Greta Massey, good move to get the ball for Mermarinick. She'll pass it back to Sophie Despins. Siegel will throw it into uh, Heather Gardner. Kate Leva. Leva will throw back. Back to uh, Simmons or to Cotter, rather. Over the middle, Katie, over the middle. Cotter will get to Steigerwald. And it's deflected, but Cotter will get the ball back. A lot of effort to just, you know, throw the ball around. Leva back out. Play is stopped. <coughs> A save by Samantha Carpentier. She throws in this time much quicker. Uh, Kayla Tracy with the ball. Just weaving around, the uh, field's very wide. Got it into Aaron Kelly. Good save by Talia Land. And they're hacking at her. Nothing called. They'll get to uh, Sydney Siegel. Sydney Siegel's uh, going to Duke. A lot of, uh, not to play lacrosse, but there's a lot of lacrosse going on at Duke. Uh, Historically, the best boys lacrosse team in the country. 
Pass it inside to Leva. Leva back out. Inside of uh, 17 minutes now. Way to go, nice play. Stay with it. No, you gotta come on. Foul on Mermarinic. Nine point game. Another foul. This is uh, Sam Rolnick. Connor bounce by Jamie Morris. Um, spring sports seasons winding down. Romanic golf team finishing. <laughs> uh, Fifteen and seven on the year. I say that Brian Schiff in attendance at this game. One of the star players on the team, supporting um, girls lacrosse. Good job. Shoots and scores. That was Jamie Morris, and now it is an eight point game. So, uh, Marinick scoreless in uh, the second half. Two scores uh, in a row by Corkstown South. The timing and everything's actually similar to how uh, the first half started, believe it or not, uh, Corkstown South. A 2 0 lead 10 minutes into this game. And um, since then, it really has been all Mermarinick. Mermarinick does not have all their starters in, which could be a reason why uh, the score is what it is right now, or in the second half at least. Sydney Siegel trapped. And it's a foul on um, somebody. Still Mermanic possession though. Katie Cotter running downfield. She had uh, Sophie Arts pretty wide open. Didn't take the pass though. Shot off of, I guess, the back of the net or the post or something. It deflected, but still Mermanic possession. Ice cream truck here. I don't really know why. <laughs> not getting much business, yeah. <laughs> Certainly, I'm not going to be a customer. Very cold. The truck's also not really in a great spot to watch the game, so I don't know what the driver's thinking. <laughs> it was warmer earlier today. I was able to wear shorts um, at lunchtime, but definitely has gotten colder. 
Massey being pushed out. Marinick throws it away. It's Clarkstown South possession. Uh, Jamie Morris See the ball. running downfield and uh, a foul inside 12 minutes now. Shoots and a good save by Talia Lynn. To reiterate, the winner of this game will um, face off against White Plains in second round of the Section 1A playoffs. White Plains, the number three seed. Mermaronick, the sixth seed. Clarkstown South, the 11 seed. The Vikings are three and thirteen on the year, and Mermaronick nine six and one. Media certainly in full attendance today. Several cameras on this one. Inside of Morris, and Morris shoots and scores. So now the score is 13 to six. A miniature run put on by uh, Clarkstown South. When does it become the time you put the starters back in for Mermarinick? Coming into the game, um, some uh, JV call-ups. And uh, Olivia Jensen back into the game. She hasn't been in all half. So I guess that's Coach uh, Christina Smith saying that we got to close this one out. Not that this lead isn't really in much jeopardy, but you know, a few more mistakes by Mermaronick, a few more goals by Clarkstown South. And in a game like lacrosse with uh, the runs that you have, you never know who could win. Mermaronic defense all over him. Uh, Sophie Arts will get the ball back for Mermaronic. Great defense. Inside of 10 minutes, I'll get that to Art. Out of bounds, the um, Clarkstown ball. Gets the ball knocked out. Got it back, however, and Talia Land will pounce on it. Ball stripped away. Stay with it. Back to Clarkstown. Dempsey with the ball. Good de defense by Mermaronick, Greta Massey in particular on that play. Uh, timeout is called. 
drop their sticks. We'll step, a, step aside and be right back. 13-6 from Marinick, 8-17 left to go. They get back into position. Clock is stopped at 8.17 right now. We'll resume play. It is um, Clarkstown South possession right now. They throw it in, Talia Land will, well she was close to picking it up. Vikings get back. Morris. And pushed back out. Under eight minutes. Moore shoots and scores, and uh, four straight goals for Clarkstown South. Um, so that'll cut the lead to six. Still a pretty large deficit for the Vikings to overcome, but definitely their um, effort is valiant. Let's go, Tigers! Stay with it! Olivia. Get out of there. Olivia Jensen gets the ball and is hacked. Might be in the interest of um, Romanek to waste out some time. They, you know, you definitely can. <laughs> You're gonna probably see more aggressive defense at a Clarkstown, and subsequently a lot more fouls. <laughs> Cotter, be pushed back out. Now inside, shoots and puts it in. So the, actually the first goal of um, the first half, uh, I mean the second half for Marinick, which will make the lead 14 to seven. 6.58 left to go in the game. Marinick went on a 12 or a 13 to one score um, run against uh, Clarkstown. But other than that, it's been pretty competitive. Let's go, Tigers! Win that, Julia! Come on! One by Clarkstown South and a whistle. A little misty now. We weren't expecting rain in the forecast. Certainly would appreciate it if it didn't come. It's going to be Marinick ball. Fouled. Under six minutes now. There you go. Let's go, Tiger. Jensen taking it downfield. Or no, no, excuse me, that's uh, uh, Julia Simmons. And a uh, good save by Carpentier. Carpentier taking her time. And it's Picked off by Greta Massey. That somebody's got to teach her how to lead a pass. How can you call that? Um, a call or a foul. How can you call that? Called by one of the referees. It's going to be Marinick possession and a clear shot at goal for Greta Massey, and it's good. 15 to seven is the score now. 5.06 left to go in the game.
passing out of the goalie box has uh, definitely been a problem for Clark Sound South today and leads to a goal from Romarnik there. Mermanic wins it. Greta Massey, very good at winning these draws or picking up these draws for Mermanic. And that in itself, she's uh, produced a lot of value, not to mention a few goals on the day. This is um, the last game of the season for Mermanic at Memorial Field, which means the last game for several seniors on the team, including Massey. Pass it into Lee and um, a whistle. Lee shoots and misses. All right, shoots and scores. 16 to seven now is the lead for Mermarinic. Three straight goals scored by them. If they can score one more, it'll be running time. Bitter cold weather right now. Romanic wins. It's uh, Julia Simmons, and she's the fastest player on the field, and we'll show it off here. Scores a goal, 17 to seven. That will keep the clock ticking. Four straight goals for Romanic. Cotter in there to take the draw from Romanic this time. It will be won by uh, Clarkstown. 3.23 left to go in this game. Looks like the last three minutes of uh, Clarkstown season. They score, however, to make it 17-8. I believe that was uh, Jamie Morris scoring. Been their lead scorer today. 3-12 exactly left to go. One by Clarkstown again, or no, 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 Mermarinick. Greta Massey once again getting the ball. She'll pass it out to fellow senior Sydney Siegel. Eagle back to Arts. Now to Cotter. Under three minutes. Not pressuring Cotter that much on defense. She can um, waste out the rest of the game if they don't get a little more aggressive. She passes it to Massey, and Massey shoots and scores. 18-8, the clock keeps ticking. So this is a good win for Mermarinick, which will get them to 10-6 and one on the season. Uh, Clarkstown South is going to end this season uh, three and 14. Um, so not a very good season for them. Yeah, 
Showed a little bit of promise in the beginning of this game, Clarkstown did, but uh, once McMarinick got going, it was too hard to get the lead. Sydney Siegel scores a goal, which will make it 19-8. A big eruption on the McMarinick sideline. Sydney Siegel um, is a defender, so not too often she'll score a goal. So in her last game here, McMarinick, that's got to feel good. Under 70 seconds left. 19 to eight is a score for Mermanic. Massey gets another, um, another draw. Be thrown away, however. Under 45 seconds. Now under 30. Morris will try to drive in and uh, get hit. Clock keeps ticking. 20 seconds now. Morris will shoot and score, which will make the score 19 to nine. And the clock is uh, ticking under five seconds. So as they move over to midfield, that's gonna do it. Mamaronek wins the first round of the Section 1A playoffs. They'll face White Plains in the number three seed in their next match. Post-game interviews and wrap-up coming up next. Mamaronek wins 19-9 over Clarkstown South. I'm here with uh, Olivia Jensen and Greta Massey here on the post-game show. Um, and you guys uh, started down two nothing, but after that, um, you really picked it up and were able to win this game easily. How did you do it? Yeah, um, we know that we've been coming out kind of not so strong as we want to be, and uh, we've done that in the past. And we know that we just need to, especially coming out with White Plains on uh, Friday, we need to be full intensity and come out as strong as we can. All right, and um, Olivia, you did a great job today, winning the majority of the draws. Uh, what do you do to always win them? Oh, well, <laughs> just working together with our teammates, especially Freya Cantwell and Julia Simons, they really did a good job of getting the draws off the bounce and um, just spreading out on the fast breaks for work for us well, so. Um, and uh, how does it feel to play your uh, last game here, Greta, um, at uh, Mermanic, or m on this uh, field? To be honest, it hasn't really uh, hit me yet, but uh, I think at the end of the season it might, but I'm just thinking right now that it's just for the team and we're just going strong, and it's kind of sad, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little sad. <laughs> yeah, it just it was a it was nice to finish up in Marinette like this. Um, and uh, as uh, you go on the postseason, what are your goals? Um, take it. I think just keeping our intensity and working well together, going hard in practice is definitely going to yeah. make a difference. And Tomorrow uh, will be a big practice yes. coming out before our White Plains game. Focusing on all, all the things we need to improve on will definitely make a difference. Yeah. Here with uh, Coach Smith, a uh, good win for you guys today. Um, you started down 2-0. Uh, uh, you say anything to your um, team to get them to you know take control of the game after that uh, uh, poor start. I think just wake up. Uh, we had butterflies in our stomach and we started out a little nervous and I think they just took that, the, the wake up call of the two goals to really, you know, force us to win draw controls and take over the game. Um, this being the last game you'll play uh, on this field, um, how do you feel for the seniors to, you know, play their last game here? Yeah, all the seniors worked hard and, and played well today, so I was very, I was very proud of their, you know, the outcome. Um, and uh, as you go on the playoff, do you, in the playoffs, do you have any particular goals? Um, just keep keep playing as a team, uh, stick together as a unit, and stay positive. Mermaronick beats Clarkstown South 19 to nine. Mermaronick will prove to 10 and six and one on the season. Clarkstown South will finish their season three and 14. Mermaronick is going to face off against the number three seed uh, White Plains um, Tigers in their next matchup in the Section 1A playoffs. Um, Mermaronick got down early in this game 2-0, but after that we were able to go on a large run and eventually we were able to win the game.
So that'll do it for us here on LMC TV. I'm Robert Reamer saying goodnight, everyone.